Team Tico, what is good? It's your boy Tico, and we are back with some NCAA Football 2005 on the Nintendo GameCube. And today's matchup is going to be Pitt versus Penn State. But with that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and press the notification bell to be notified when these videos drop because plenty are going to be coming. And don't forget to hit that like button. It helps the channel out a lot. So with that being said, it's going to be Pitt versus Penn State in this rivalry game today. So let's get into that. Let's get it. Extremely cold weather for today's game between the Pittsburgh Panthers and the Nittany Lions of Penn State. Here come the Nittany Lions. This one is going to be dynamite as these two schools provide one of the best rivalries in college football. I'm Brad Nestle, along with my friends Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit, who are fired up to be doing this game. The Panthers don't seem to match up too well in this one. Kirk, I'm not sure I like their chances very much. Yeah, I'm going to have to agree with you on this one, Brad. Penn State has one of their best players lining up in their backfield. Lee, expect a huge game from him running the football and maybe even catching a few passes. He's a tremendous athlete, and they will use him as much as they can. Let me tell you why I agree with you. Penn State is going to run through, around, and over this defense, Kirk. I'm interested in seeing how many rushing yards are going to roll up in this one. Today we have Pittsburgh the and Panthers Penn State going up against each other on national television. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into this gameplay. The impact player on these teams are going to be very good. But let's go ahead and get this throwback gameplay going. As you can see, number 43 started out with a huge run. So it's 0-0. Zero, zero. And the number 17 toughest stadium to play in NCAA 2005, which is in Penn. Look at the, okay, I thought it was a catch. Almost though. All right, so it's gonna be a fourth and two right now. Penn State is gonna go ahead and punt the football to Pittsburgh and look at Pitt. And they're gonna go ahead and take the kickoff. And look at the run, it's to the 30, to the 20, the 10. And he's gonna cash in for the jackpot to cash out for six points just like that. College football is exciting. So here we go, we got a third and 11 with 120 left in the first quarter. And PSU has the football. What can they do with it? Can they do something with it? The drop back, the steps. Okay, he has a lot of time in the pocket to try to deliver it to one of his players. And it's a pick, number nine. I'm gonna catch that pick, six. I'm gonna catch that pick, six. I'm gonna catch all the over here. I'm gonna catch that pick, six. I'm gonna catch that pick, six. Don't throw it my way. I'm gonna catch that pick, six. It's a 14 0 game already, and it's looking like an upset. Pittsburgh is already up two. But look at the catch by number nine to the 30, to the 20. And he's going to cash in for the jackpot to cash out for six himself. And this is crazy. A back and forth battle between these two. Looking like it's going to be a shootout. And look at the fans in 2005 going crazy. If you're not familiar with this channel, my channel is pretty much a channel that goes over all types of sports games. If it's college football Saturday, I'm probably playing all the different versions of NCAA football on all types of consoles and platforms just to keep you guys upgraded. You know what I'm saying? With the greatest entertainment on the channel. But look at number nine catching it. And he's going to take it all the way. The rack is nasty on this mug, bro. Classic. All right, we're back at it again. 14-7 still. Look at Pitt. The play action. And number 84. How about that third down conversion? Boy, what a play here, guys. All right, so we're back at it again. 14-7. First and 10 for Pitt. 402. The clock is ticking in the second. And the quarterback is going to go ahead and scramble to the right. Sets his feet at number 80, but he takes a hit. A completion happens. Wow. All right, back at it again. 14-7, first and 10 for these guys in the second quarter. Still a situation where they can drive and get a score. Okay, the play action. In that pocket up top. Can he get it? And he gets it. And they cash in for the jackpot to cash out for six. And Pitt is steady striking. Every time they get the football, they're striking. Let's go ahead and look at the replay. He sets his feet. Perfection in that pocket. Catches the ball, number eight. Successful catch, touchdown. The replay is crazy. Look at this. All right, guys, 21-7 game. But what can Penn State do? Number 33 is going to take the handoff. Look at the little starter move. 
with the spin. Wow. We're playing some football today, folks. College football Saturday is always my favorite day of the week. It's just something about college football. So much excitement behind it. And look at number nine with that catch. Running. It takes a village to bring him down. First down. All right, here we go. 21-7. PSU is down. They need to come back with this 125 left in the second. And number 33 goes around the corner. And he's going to get the pylon. And he's going to cash in. And it's a 22-yard run by the running back for Penn State University. The fans go wild. Check out that handoff. Great vision by this guy, too. He's a big downhill runner. Boof, boof. And he cashes in. 21-14. It's a one-score game right now. And Penn has it right here with a few seconds left. And look at the catch, number 81. Safety blanket. Let's get it. Let's go. Okay, so they're going to go ahead and try to kick this field goal. Can they nail the field goal and make it a 17-21 game? PSU is playing from behind, which is not a normal situation. Uh, nothing. Nothing. Okay, look at the line. Okay, yeah, he's not happy. Now, these guys are going to try to kick a field goal on this possession, 21-14. If they hit it, it's a 24-14 game, which makes it a two-possession game. Look at the kick, and it is no good. Wow, nothing. And that'll do it for the first half of play. Our halftime score, Pittsburgh 21, Penn State 14. All right, guys, 21-14, and Penn is going to start out with the football right here with the fake handoff, number seven with the spiral. And there's a catch to number 19, completion completed. The right side of the field is working for Penn State. So here we go, close to pay dirt, first and goal in that goal area. Can these guys convert and get the first down or the touchdown? Which, the touchdown is needed, and number 33, spin move. I thought he was going to get out and get it. Okay, they got it right in time before the clock went out. Number seven, and that's an incompletion, and nothing happens for these guys. They needed the TD, bro. They needed that. Terrible pass. That's what defense does. And that'll bring this quarter to an end. Folks, we've played three, and our score is Pittsburgh 21, Penn State 14. His offense is having a difficult 3.30 left in the fourth, and these guys are playing a touchdown from behind, and Pitt has the football, and it's dangerous if Pitt can score. And these guys get a catch. They get a completion, a first down, not looking good for PSU. All right, guys, this is crunch time right here in this situation. 2.25 left there, running clock. Number three, and now the fake handoff, he gets it right past the yellow marker to number 81, and they catch the ball. It is a completion on deck. Uh-oh. NCAA 2005 on the GameCube. Today's matchup, look at number 43 running, and he's going, and he's cashing in for the jackpot to cash out for a great touchdown. That's going to mean a lot. 27-14, look at this guy, number 43, great vision, putting his head down, getting in the end zone. 28-14, not good. 148 left for, for Penn State. Look at number seven, setting his feet, putting it into his arm, and number nine, catching the football. Great catch. So the players of the game, number nine for Penn State and the cornerback, number nine for Pitt. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, wow. He cannot catch it. He's not catching the football. You need hands. All right, we're back at it again. We got to see what they're going to do. This is a simulation, by the way, guys. This is not me playing. And that was terrible. That was not good right there, bro. They needed that. Okay, here we go. One minute left. And Penn State is back with possession of the football right now this has got to be one of the craziest situations ever number seven up top and to catch the number nine and he's gonna cash in for the jackpot to cash out for a six that really means something in the game wow these guys get the touchdown what a clutch play by number seven for penn state for the nittany lions look at this catch called it number nine going in money look at this he just look the concentration the hands and uh yeah 24 seconds left they're gonna try to run it out i know they are look at the handoff to number 43 and he's taken down by number 91 what a play but uh no more timeouts for psu so you know what that means at the end of the game it's 28 21 pittsburgh comes out with the w and they're gonna hit their coach with the gatorade shower 
And these are old games that are amazing. These games are super fun, and I brought it back in the highest quality possible. So if you guys enjoy these, leave a like below. Let me know, you know, what, what matchups you want to see, and I will consider doing so. And make sure you leave a like on the video, man. Share this video with the community so we can just get out great, nostalgic gameplay and just have fun. That's what we do. I told you this year is a different year. We're going to make sure we pump these videos out at the highest quality possible with the best entertainment possible we own. It's your boy Tico. And what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to go ahead and let you see all the stats. But it's your boy Tico. I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here. And next time, we're going to do what we do. we got another video on the way, so stay tuned and subscribe if you like this type of stuff. I got to get out of here. I got more editing to do. Peace.